In season two of Koi Medic, we are traveling across South Africa to showcase a larger variety of Koi enthusiasts and their ponds. We aim to inform and inspire other enthusiasts and build an online Koi community where we can all learn together. Let us know in the Koi Medic comment section if there is a topic you want us to cover. Invite us over to teach us and our viewers about your unique Koi piece of heaven. Or leave your questions and we will get back with answers as soon as possible. Koi Medic is an open discussion between all Koi enthusiasts around the world. Hi everybody and welcome to episode 3. As we said, we're going to do microscope analysis um, and then we're going to have a look at some parasites and understand what do parasites do. I mean this is living water so there's got to be those elements in there and it's natural but how do we control it in our koi pond. So what I've done is obviously I've got the microscope on me that's unplugged but what I've done is I've seen just now a parasite. I'm not going to tell you what parasite it is but when you see the film clip I'd like you to see if you can identify what parasite it is and then I'll tell you later. Let's have a look. In terms of microscope analysis, what's most most important, a lot of people what they would do is they take this slide, they do a scrape of one fish and they would immediately have a look and assess it. Not always are you going to find anything on the, uh, on the slide. What's very important is that you wait for about four or five minutes and then you then put it under the microscope. By that time if there's parasites they would have they would have started moving around they would have started moving out of the mucus if there's a lot of mucus that's the first telltale sign a lot of mucus but apart from that I've got to ponds many many times where I've done even two um, slides and I don't pick up any parasites but then on the third slide I have picked up parasites so what is the difference between the, the first two and the third one that I'm talking about well what I've picked up is a little technique that I'd like to share with you and that is have a look in your koi pond have a look at the fish that is compromised the most with its immune system that is really not happy. Look around, spend some time and then what you do is you scrape that fish and what you do is you scrape off on the gill filaments, the soft skin and a lot of times you could on the side of the body as well but that's where you would pick up with a fish that is not well you would more than likely pick up the parasites once you've assessed what parasite it is through your microscope because you cannot see it with the eye. It's critical that you use this first before you medicate because you don't know what you're medicating for and that's very very important and that can save you a lot of money. So let's go and have a look at this parasite that I picked up. Right so in that instance it is Trichodina and uh, Trichodina is rather a nasty fella as it's turning around as you saw in the film clip it's basically eating away at the flesh almost like a saw blade that is cutting into wood it's the same sort of principle that's why it moves around like that each parasite has its own behavior also each parasite needs a particular medication now when you get ones and twos that's when almost the the red flag is if it's on one fish it's going to be on all the fish in most cases when you get a swarm or an infestation that is when we need to go to the next level and that's where we need to identify what I've done is we've actually taken a series of film clips um, and we've basically worked on 200 times and then we've on the microscope gone down to 400 times so you can have a look at an in-depth view not only on a film clip but also on a photograph of 
the severity of the hooks on fluke, for instance, and it would give you an idea of how bad uh, and uh, it can infect the fish. A costier infestation that would also show, and you could almost imagine, if it was mosquitoes around you, how irritated it, it, it would make you um, and how unhealthy it would make you. So that is critically important so that we identify the parasite and then we go into the medication. Okay, so if you don't have a microscope, what do you do? Well, the best is that you need to call a koi medic to come out and to assess. If you can get hold of a microscope and you don't know what you're looking for, we are really just a call away where we can help you. And even if you can spot something on your microscope, do a WhatsApp film clip and send it to me and I'll be able to respond and tell you what parasite it is and we can go from there as well. So just to try and make life a lot easier. And in that process you learn and uh, I, I never stop learning, but happy to help. But please don't forget, you must subscribe. It'll help you. Then set the notification for some more exciting episodes that lie ahead to help you with your lovely koi fish.